Hey, we had a, a teaching earlier and we learned some things about Denmark. Uh, just some little quirk. Are they quirky? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Just like some customs and stuff. Never wear your shoes in the house in Denmark. Apparently like that really offends people. Um, just different customs like when you're going into people's houses. Um, in Is it in Denmark or just with his family? With the time thing. This I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed uh, Torben's dad to the second. Like you say your dinner is at six o'clock. You show up at six o'clock. If you show up at like they were five minutes early and he made him and they made him kind of like wait until six o'clock because apparently here when it's when they do say six o'clock it means that you you're sitting, the, down, to you're sitting down to eat at six o'clock they don't want you early because then you're waiting or obviously they don't want you late because otherwise they will wait for you um just some yeah what else was there um i like you that you should tell the act the story with that like he said mm. um Dave's learning, guys. Be patient yeah, with him. Um, so the yeah. story behind that is kind of cool. Um, he, they were going, they invited somewhere for dinner, and he literally stopped like a block away, and they, he, and he stopped the car and they sat, and they're like, "Why are we stopping?" And he's like, "We can't go yet. It's five to six. And so, but he literally grew up like, "You are. If it says six, it says six. And and that is, he said, it is a common custom for meal times, but that carried over to like everything that mm -hmm. he did and um he said you know there's things about that that's good and there's things about that that it's bad and he's learned how to be more flexible um but he used to be very rigid in scheduling and um everything had to be right on time and he's he would look at it this way like if i schedule a meeting with 10 people and i say be there at three and i don't show up until 10 after three then i just stole 10 minutes from these people and um and he said that that's rude, it's disrespectful, and that if you set a time, you should be there. Um, we were just talking about, like, you know, when these guys do go out on the street, how they should behave and what mm -hmm. they should know about the culture and the respect. And, um, yeah, so uh, one thing he mentioned also is that if you're a guest in someone's house, you do not clear your plate away without asking. Because sometimes they don't want yeah. you, like, they don't want you to come into their kitchen. Um, and especially into their dishwasher because that's yeah. messy and off limits. Yeah. And so um, a lot of times they'll tell you to just leave your plate at the table or sometimes they might say, yeah, go ahead, bring it in and just set it on the counter. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like a, an off limit place and they find it very rude if you clear your own spot away. And um, yeah, so I thought that was interesting. They had, uh, he also gave some instances where some people had invited him to didn't like was it to eat the pakistani family yeah they invited him to eat and um what they did was like he sat down to eat and just sat there and the the family the just family just him. sat there and they had already eaten ahead of time it was their custom that they mm -hmm. serve the guests and the guest eats by themselves mm -hmm. so it was uh he said it was weird and kind of uncomfortable mm -hmm. to like to eat while they stood and watched him but that's their custom. And right. So and so just to be observant of, you know, things that might be in your house uh, that you might do um, might not be what somebody else does in their house, especially if they're from a different country. And, um, yeah, sometimes you just don't see the importance of some of these things, but sometimes they are very they're important really offensive to other and they're people. really offensive to other people. Yeah. And so we even... Um, had where well we had robert our yeah. friend robert he's like do you are you offended if my knee like he crossed his legs like that but his knee came above the table the table and about he, maybe three or four inches yeah and he and he was like is that offensive to you guys and we were like no that doesn't you know it's no big deal but um yeah so just a little tidbit in uh denmark don't wear your shoes in the house where she's in the house don't uh and don't go into don't, someone's dishwasher <laughs> don't set your legs up on i i noticed americans we do a lot of this with our feet up on our chairs mm -hmm. and um see here mm. legs up on the chairs and that would be very offensive to people in europe if wow. you sat in your chair at the table like that yeah um, so yeah that was kind of interesting um I can't think. There were other things that I 
can't recall right now, but. All right. We'll uh, see you later. It would be awesome to have another one of those pieces of bread on a stick. Those were good. Those are so good. Very tasty. So good and uh, so fun. Uh, we'll see if we can uh, bring that recipe back to uh, the States with us. I don't think you could do it gluten free. I don't think the bread you could. It has to be stretchy. And maybe maybe we can get some flour from here or something like that. Well, you I'm. Yeah. Something like that. I don't know. Maybe it would be different with organic good flour at home. I did hear that they don't really like. I was talking with a German individual, a friend of mine. Uh, say his name. Hanak. Han Hanak. I think the H is silent. Hanak. Hanak. And. Um, he had mentioned that there's not a lot of GMO stuff, and so that is possibly... Also, we are welcomed in here, and we're in the Bible. It says that if you're welcomed in, then, uh, then you eat what is served, yeah. and so... Well, that, and I think if you if you are welcomed in somewhere and they, they tell you mm -hmm. that you're served, yeah. <laughs> I think that's what you do, so... Yeah, that makes a big difference. So, anyway... Uh, yeah, that was good. All right, we'll talk to you later. Just a couple things and more things we learn, more things we'll pass on. If there's questions that you do have, though, uh, please comment below. And uh, make sure you do subscribe. And in Jesus' name.